Welcome back guys, so in this video we're gonna be drawing an expression, so this will be a character zoning out. So as you can see, I already have like, you know, the, 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 the um, well the guidelines for this character already sketched in. So I already have the eyes and like a little circle for the nose. So we just gonna be focusing on the expression, and I'm gonna go in into details on how to actually draw this, um, this front view, because we have a um, video touching that, so feel free to go and check that one out but yeah let me get into doing um this expression right now so i think what we gonna do first is kind of like um we gonna um start off with the eyes so right here going in we gonna um start to you know sketch it out so with a zoning out expression right you know the the it's kind of like, you know, the person not aware of what going on, so they're just there. Alright, so on to the eyes now. So what we're going to do is like darken up, you know, the eyelash area. And now on to the one on the right, do the same thing. Just like that, darken it up. And now we could go in here and start adding in the iris. And as you could notice right here, the eyes wide open, right? So you could the iris not touching like usually when I draw in a character, the eyes not really wide open and the iris not really touching. So this one is kinda like the iris floating in the um eye. So that kinda give it, you know, it's kinda like it wide open and it's just this eye just like dazing off into space or something like that. So it, it, it kinda gives it that type of zone and outlook in a way. So for the eyebrow, just um keeping it um a little subtle, keeping it, it, it a little higher up, I would say. But it's nothing too extreme. Um, sorry, it's nothing too extreme for this um, expression. Alright, cool. Let me just draw a little indication of the full or the upper, the upper eyelid. All right, just fix up the iris a bit. Um, now we could start shading it in. All right, on to the nose, just drawing the little nostrils at the end of the circle, just like that. And now for the mouth, right? For the mouth, it's that different, like, zone and out expression. We could just keep the mouth like a straight line and that kind, kind of give it that feel, but for this one, we just um we j we just go and have the mouth slightly open, so just like that. Nothing too extreme, and now we can just fix up the draw. But yeah, that's how um that's basically like the zone and outlook. As you can see, it already have like it's almost kind of like confused slightly too, so you kind of have that look as well. But yeah. That is like if you're zoning out, like say if you're just um somebody talking to you and you're just watching at like the television, for example, and you hear nothing them saying because you're so focused on you know what's going on on the station and you just see you know you, it's kinda like you're stuck in a trance or something like that. But yeah, let me just go in here and like draw a little indication on the bridge of the nose and yeah. So yeah. We kinda like um have everything in place. And stuff like that yeah with the mouth you could choose to like um just draw a straight line or you could have it slightly open you know to give it a you know to have it that way but you know i add i make the mouth like slightly open just to you know give it that effect but you know you could feel free to like have it closed if you want all right so now on top slightly above um the actual eyebrows we just gone um drop in this line for the hairline and then we just gonna calm down so I'm actually gonna play in the hair because I uh, you know I don't want to leave you guys off with not knowing how to like do the hair but I and you could put whatever hair you want for this car with it don't even have to be the hair I drawing if you could if you go back and watch like the other videos you could take some hair styles from those videos and apply it to this character you know Whatever you choose to do, you could, um, you know, you could do it. You don't have to make the character look exactly like mine's. 
just need to follow along and try to like get the expression and you know but yeah that is um pretty much it for the um the sketch i'll go and kick it into time lapse and i'll be back all right guys Alright guys, I'm back after the time lapse. So during the time lapse, all I did was like, you know, shaded in the hair, went over some of the lines and stuff like that, you know, just clean up some stuff. But yeah, I saw you draw a character zoning out. Hope you enjoyed, learned something, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Alright, see ya.